Use hashtag Michigan to get featured on the show. Dylan, let me know when you got a question from Jeff. Sorry, Jeff, thanks so much for the question. Is Shea Patterson, Jim Harbaugh's best QB after year five? I would say he's just put together the best two-game stretch as a Michigan quarterback maybe ever, okay? That's, that's not crazy to think about. Maybe ever. And Dylan, let's toss up those if we can. Take a moment. Let's grab that Shea Patterson two-game stats because I want to show you guys these stats because if you think about Michigan's had two quarterbacks in history, two, Jake Ruduck being one of them, John Navarre being the other, to throw for 3,000 yards in an entire season. But look what Shea Patterson's done in the last two games alone. If you extrapolate that over an entire 13-game season, folks, we're talking about 4,500 yards, okay? We're talking about 4,500 yards and 45, 50 touchdowns. Those are runaway Heisman numbers. And these aren't scrubs. This is against your rival, Michigan State. This is against uh, an Indiana team that's having probably the best season in 25 years, since 1993 when they won eight games. So Shea Patterson has had the best two-game stretch in victories I can ever remember from a Michigan quarterback. So thanks so much for the question. Jeff, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys use that hashtag Michigan to get your questions answered on the show. And if we don't get enough hashtags deal, toss up any comments, questions, et cetera, throughout there. Lewis Papp, I'm more worried about the defense giving up first downs on long third down, especially that one on for 20 plus yards. And it's, it's a valid point. I'm gonna go to some of the game stats here as we look at it. Indiana had 19 first downs today. So Michigan didn't shut them down completely, right? But they came to play when it counted. They forced a couple turnovers. And you give up, you know, a long play here, a long play there. But what I was excited about this game is you didn't see them get smoked on third downs and smoked down crossing routes all day like they did last year. So what that tells me is that Don Brown has grown up. He understands what was missing last year. It was speed. And it was playing some opportunistic zone. Indiana, 5 of 12 on third downs. That's not Phenomenal for the defense, but it's not terrible by any means. Indiana also went for it on fourth down one time. They were one of two. Time possession, Indiana led about 32 minutes to Michigan's 28, but I was happy with the defensive performance. You give up a couple plays here and there. If you only do that to Ohio State, give up two or three 20-yard third down plays, you're in a good spot because you're not going to win that one shutting their offense down. You've got to kind of have a bend but don't break sometimes offense with them. Don't get smoked on those long 60-yard passes like you did last season. God's child, coming up with the next question. If Michigan wins out, what bowl game will they be invited to? It's fairly simple for me at this point. It's if they beat Ohio State, Michigan will go to the Rose Bowl. I have no doubt about it, right? I have no doubt about it. How can I be so confident with that? Well, the Rose Bowl will take a Big Ten team. That is a fact, right? There's no questioning that. Uh, there's no uh, guesswork on there. If Ohio State goes to the uh, to the Rose Bowl, I'm sorry, goes to the College Football Playoff, uh, if they lose to Michigan, let's just scenario this out for a second. Maybe I'm going over the place. You said they went out. You beat Ohio State the next week. That changed nothing for Ohio State. They still go to the Big Ten title game, and if they win that, they're still getting in the playoff. So. I've got a couple of Ohio State friends today text me and say, Ohio State, after Justin Fields got hurt there at the end of the game and rolled his ankle up, like, we should sit Fields next week. Doesn't even matter if we beat Michigan, which is true, because they're going to go to the game against a Wisconsin team that'll be 10 and 2 or a Minnesota team that'll be 11 and 1. If it's Minnesota, Ohio State, it is a winner goes to the playoff. If Ohio State's the loser, they're not going to go to the to the Rose Bowl back to back years. It's just not how the Big Ten is operating these days. Michigan will jump them, considering they won head to head. They'll go to the Rose Bowl. Ohio State will end up going to the Sugar Bowl or one of these other bowls, one of the other New Year's Six bowls. Minnesota will then be in the College Football Playoff, whatever it is. So if they went out, Michigan is in the Rose Bowl, no doubt about it. They're not going to take a two-loss Minnesota. They're not going to take a three-loss Wisconsin, the loser of the Big Ten title game, over them. So no matter how you play it, Michigan's going to go to the Rose Bowl if they beat Ohio State. Bet DSI is our presenting sponsor on today's show. Use that promo code, chatsports.com. Promo code go blue, chatsports.com slash bet will redirect you and populate the promo code for you. Just make sure you select it when you make your first deposit. You get 120% deposit bonus. Simple math for you guys. $100 in, 
You got an extra 120 to play around with. If you've never bet before, it's a nice way to welcome you to the family of sports bettors. And if you lose a couple bets, you're not uh, you're not out of money. So chatsports.com slash bet, promo code go blue. I implore you, put some money on the Wolverine. Show these kids, these damn Michigan football players that you support them, that you think they're going to beat Ohio State. Because what I saw today out of Penn State is that this Ohio State team is not unbeatable. They're not as tough as you think. And you think some carpetbag quarterback like Justin Fields is going to come into Michigan Stadium and beat the Wolverines? I don't think so. So go put some money on the Wolverines. Bet DSI. Use that promo code to get hooked up with some cash. Jeff, sorry. Jeff's using the, the hashtag because I feel like uh, producer Dylan back there is loving up Jess right now. He says, is Josh say okay? He went out hurt. Um, I don't. I haven't had really the ability to, to put out any – text or feelers for injury reports to any sources, nor have I heard anything from other media outlets. So we'll probably won't find out anything about Josh definitively until Saturday against Ohio State. Maybe Jim Harbaugh, Don Brown will leak something out or talk about something in uh, in their press conferences on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday throughout the week. But you got to have Josh Uche because what I am envisioning is Josh Uche coming like a bat out of hell, as crazy as a bed bug, like President Trump said yesterday, around the corner and lights out for Justin Fields and Ohio State's potential victory over Michigan, and that portells Michigan to a victory. So you need Josh next week against the Buckeyes without question. So let's hope he is healthy and gets back. Dale Sherm says, doesn't Michigan lose the last two or three games every year? It is insane. And I wish I had the tweet up, so thanks for the question. But Michigan, I believe, and I'm going to have to go through this math in my head really quick. Michigan has seven losses, 2016, 17, 18. Seven losses in their first 11 games of the year, right? I think is that the right number? Six losses, seven losses, four losses, whatever it is. Four, seven, I'm doing some, no, four losses, four losses in their first 11 games of the year. So they are something like 29 and four in the first 11 games in the last three seasons, not counting this year. Then they are two and seven in the final three. Last year, you lost to Ohio State in the Florida game. 2017, you lost your last three games to a top 10 Wisconsin team, a top five Ohio State team, and you lost the bowl game to in South Carolina. And then two years back, you lost to, you won against Indiana, and three years back at 16, lost to Ohio State, lost to Florida State. So three straight years, you've ended up with losing your last two games. You tossed in there in 2017, you lost against Wisconsin as well. Two and seven in the final three games of the year from 2016 to 18. That's got to change this year. You can't lose these last two games of the year. I don't care what you people say about bowl games not counting. They're whatever it is. 11 and two feels a lot better than 10 and three. And I'll tell you this, if they lose to Ohio State, 10 and three will feel a hell of a lot better than nine and four. So don't lose these last two games. Michigan football, I implore you to not do that. All right, guys, got a question. I got a request for you guys. I want to do some more videos focusing on Michigan, Ohio State the next week. And the big shot bureaucrats at Chat Sports, they asked me, they said, James, if you if you show people we're liking it on YouTube, get us to 250 likes, 250 likes what I asked you guys. So take a moment if you can, scroll down, and just hit that thumbs up below the video next to that subscribe button that I'm hoping you guys hit. If we can get to 250 likes while we're live for the next 35 minutes or so, we can make sure we just crush the content going into next week and the Michigan Ohio State Michigan Victory post game show next Saturday. So please get us to 250 likes. I'm going to refresh it here shortly, let you guys know where we're at. Most people don't really like uh, YouTube videos, do they, Dylan? They just are YouTube live. They, they join the chat, they don't really like it. So prove to us you guys uh, enjoy the show if you can. Let the bureaucrats know that, uh, that, that you guys like this show. So next up, wait, why are you liking it? Hit the subscribe button, as Dylan's going to throw up there. Number one show for Michigan football on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to take your questions throughout the rest of this hour. Keep uh, some awesome content going into game week against Ohio State. I just can't wait to get this game going. I'm more excited about this game than I have been in a long time. So hit the subscribe button. Next question coming up from Seabass. Kick his ass, Seabass. When is the last time Michigan had a signature win? Go Bucks. Fair question from Ohio State fans. He says, go Bucks." So uh, certainly, certainly uh, think you're, uh, you're throwing a little shade here, which is fine. It's rivalry week. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the big leagues. All good. But, but I will implore you to remember, Michigan last year beat three top 20 teams in a row. And I think they all might be three top 15 teams. Back to back to back games. Penn State, Wisconsin, Michigan State last year. It may have been out of order. It might have been, you know, whatever it was. Michigan State was in the road. 
They beat a top 10 uh, Notre Dame team, crushed a top 10 Notre Dame team just a few weeks back, be an Iowa team that's competing for, uh, for the Big Ten West. So Harbaugh has had a lot of signature wins. 2016, beat the Big Ten champion, Penn State. Um, 2017, beat a Florida team that was ranked inside the top 20. So this whole narrative about Jim Harbaugh losing every game, he's had signature wins, just needs to get one against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Dylan, we've got 30 likes on the video. So some of you guys have liked it, but let's keep liking this video, please. Give us a 250 likes. Josh Kreka coming up with the question. This is undoubtedly the best I felt about Michigan heading into the Ohio State game under Jimmy. Offense. Defense, special teams, do you agree? I agree, Josh, wholeheartedly. As I mentioned just a moment ago, I have not felt better about this game. And I'm talking about last year. I was confident last year Michigan was going to get the victory. But I did know that Dwayne Haskins was a machine throwing the ball. I did know that Michigan looked like crap against Indiana the week, week before. And they hadn't won at Ohio State in a generation. We're going back the the kids who are freshmen in Michigan right now were not alive the last time they won at Ohio State, which is the 2000 when Drew Henson was the quarterback. So I did have this gut feeling last year that Michigan was going to win. And this is a better Ohio State team, but I haven't seen Michigan play this good over a five-game stretch in, in a long time. Probably the first five or six games of the 2016 season. Before that, it had been a generation. So I'm feeling good, Josh. Great question. I am feeling good. Good. I, you're not tough, Ohio State. Any people coming in here, you Ohio State fans, you're not, you're not tough. You might feel like you're the Russian all year in, from Rocky. Well, Michigan in this offense is Josh Gass. They're Sly Stallone. Next question from Tope Daddy. I say Michigan goes to the Cotton Bowl if they win, go blue. Well, I probably, and they could still go to the Cotton Bowl if they lose, if them, some things shake out um, where Ohio State goes to the playoff and, and, um, um, uh, Minnesota maybe goes to the Rose Bowl. Maybe Penn State goes to the Rose Bowl. And, and the Cotton Bowl, one of these other New Year's Six has, you know what, we're going to take Michigan uh, over Minnesota. We're going to take Michigan over Penn State, even though Michigan would have one more loss. But I think that's pretty clear. If you win against Ohio State, you go to the Rose Bowl. If you lose against Ohio State, you are playing in one of the Florida Bowls or one of these other. You get the third or fourth bowl from the Big Ten. All right. Well, I don't know from you guys. Comment. Who was your player of the game today because there are a lot of candidates. I'm just going to recap some of these folks here. You had Shea Patterson, Mr. Shea Patterson, followed his best game as a Michigan quarterback with his best, best game as a Michigan quarterback today. 20 of 32, five touchdown passes for Shea Patterson on the date today. How about Nico Collins? Six catches, a buck 65. How about Daxton Hill? All right. How about Daxton Hill? Eight tackles, one interception, a lot of playmakers on defense. Uh, a lot of playmakers on offense. Giles Jackson, one catch of 50 yards. Donovan Peoples-Jones, five for 73 and a touchdown. Ronnie Bell got his first touchdown of the, of the game. Only one catch for him. Two first touch of the season, only one for him. And a lot of nice performance today. So who is your player of the game? Answer below now in the comments section. Dude, we got to get these comments going a little bit. Only three count per minute. We got to get that going up there. But answer now, who is your player of the game? We've got our Michigan football grades coming up for you right now.